Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Goal Fishing. <laughs> Goal stands for get out and live, and today we are back at Canyon Lake. We're gonna try and fill the cooler with yellow bass, have a blast catching them. I'm also gonna be eating a lot of fish pretty consistently over the next uh, month or so, and so I need a lot of fish <laughs> to eat so i'm not going to the grocery store and buying a bunch so we should have a really good day today based on what i'm seeing the conditions today we should catch us quite a few fish and have us some fun so let's get to it go have some fun catch some fish and fill up that cooler Ooh, i'm seeing fish right under us already a bunch of them so you know what that means it's time to start jigging got something little bluegill that's what we got on the charts down there he's not big enough to keep either we'll keep the bigger ones of these guys but bye bye and it's 5 30 a.m and we got people swimming like crazy making all kinds of noise there's a ton of fish under the boat right now oh felt the hit oh there was a hit oh Still on, he is. It's another bluegill, has to be. Yep. There's not much of a fillet on him though. I forgot my uh, sun shield face cover. That's really gonna suck. With this heat, I'm gonna get burned today. Oh, finally, we had a hit from a yellow. That was a yellow for sure. It was heavy. Seven feet of water. That was a hit, and it's a yellow for sure. Oh, he came off. Seven foot's the magic number right now, I guess. Just got a hit, got hit a few times there and they all came off, which is a pain in the butt. There's quite a few fish on the charts down there. There was a bump. Oop, there's another thump. Come on, fishies. Come on, fishies. Sometimes it helps too when you're jigging these things to try different heights that you rip it up and let it down different speeds. You just gotta find what they want. I think a lot of what we're seeing down on the charts is these guys. This one might actually be decent enough to eat. Uh, we got more stuff on the charts down there. We did move out a little bit deeper and we're still catching those guys. So, Nope, we just had one. It felt like a bluegill though. Hope there was another bump. There's a fish. Feels like a bluegill. Because it is. We fouled him in the stomach. <laughs> Yellows will come around eventually. They'll be around. When they're around, they'll eat. Okay, you guys, so I decided to turn the cameras off because it's been dead and they were already starting to overheat. And we hadn't found any yellows yet. Those freaking loud boats. <laughs> Hopefully you can, can actually hear what I'm saying. I finally caught a yellow. We're like 15 feet off of the shore in right now we're in seven but it's about seven eight i think we caught him in eight or nine feet so we're really close to the edge a little bit more of a steeper drop off today um and they man that's really kind of annoying um we finally got onto something that wasn't just bluegill like the charts i've been seeing is just a bunch of small stuff we finally got to a place where we found some and we got one right here so first fish of the day I get him in the cooler and now I can actually roll the cameras because we got something to show you that was a bump already there's fish and it feels like a yellow it's a yellow oh no oh no I flipped him over the boat ah. gosh dang it I've been trying to flip him in the boat and then scoop him up with the net there's one Again, flipped off at the boat. Got him. All right, he's on the boat. As long as he doesn't flip himself off, we're good to go. Dumb floppy fish. That's why I got the net right here. Scoop him up. It's fish number two actually landed. I'm flipping him over the boat and doing all kinds of <laughs> silly nonsense. In the cooler he goes. We've got a couple in there now. That feels good after the morning we've had so far. That feels really good. So that last one, I cast it out a little ways from the boat, let it sink, and then I'm just kind of jigging it back. You lift it up, let it slowly go down, pull up your slack, pop it, let it slowly go down. That felt like a hit. There's one. 
and he feels good. Oh, he already got himself hooked on the net, so we might as well just flip him into it. He's a little guy. Little, little, but he's still good enough to eat. Oh, it's nice to be onto some fish now. That kayak's not floating too well. There you have it, guys. Another one for the cooler. If we keep on them like this, we just might fill the cooler with the time we have left. There's fish right away. <laughs> good one, too. Sweet. He came off, and my lure still got stuck in my net. Yeah, I need to start just scooping them up, because even when I'm not trying, or when I'm trying not to let them get stuck in the net, they're getting my lure stuck in the net. Just so annoying having to deal with the net. I guess I should deal with the fish before I deal with the net, huh? This one's actually a pretty decent one. Yeah, I'm seeing quite a few on the charts. We got onto a pretty good school here. Not fishy. Perfect filet size. He's gonna taste delicious. All right, now for this stupid net. I should have bit the bullet and got the nice net that was rubber. All right, you guys don't wanna watch this. You don't wanna watch me mess with the net. All righty guys, we actually switched to another blade bait cause that one broke another hook. <laughs> so as if we weren't having a hard time hooking them and getting them on the boat anyway, one of them only had one, one hook instead of the three, one prong on the treble hook. I switched it over to something a little, well, it's pretty much the same thing, just, oop, and we just got hit. So it's gonna work. Just doesn't have the same colors, a little bit different profile, but very similar. It's a blade bait, so. Plenty of fish moving in and out. I'm seeing a lot of them. Ooh, that was a good hit. Another good hit. There he is. No, ooh, another decent one. Oh, I missed him. Come on, there we go. Got him. Cool beans. And look, he came unbuttoned. Again, these hooks do not hold on very good. Once they get up and start flopping around, they fall right off. And flop everywhere all over the boat. <laughs> Ouch. Nasty. There we go. Got a few now. That's nice. Oh, oh that was a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's pulling out direct. Good fish, good fish. There he goes. See, all I had to do was wiggle him off. I love yellow bass fishing. <laughs> oh, they're just fun. If you ever need like a pick-me-up, if you've had a bad day or bad week or something like that, and you need to just feel better, go catch some yellow bass. It just makes you feel good. That's getting out and living right there. Happiness, joy that a dumb little fish can bring to a person. I love it. Ooh, there's another one and another one. Oh, missed them. They're hitting it when my pole is up, so I'm not able to really set the hook. I have to reel in my slack and then set it, and by then they've already moved on. Looks like these guys are eating crawdads too. They got some red poop <laughs> that uh, managed to slip out on my leg. Oh, oh <laughs> he hit that hard. That's a rock. <laughs> oh my gosh. These guys are so aggressive. Why are they not getting hooked? That was an insane hit. I think I want to try a little crankbait that I got on my other pole back there. Cause these guys are actually hitting it more. They're hitting it as it's falling at an angle the way I'm working it now. I'm going to work it a little more sideways. Got a little more leverage to oh. set the hook. Alrighty, I didn't realize that the, uh, <laughs> it wasn't on, but yeah, we just managed to hook a largie <laughs> with a little crank, <laughs> a little crankbait. A little largemouth. We're going to turn him loose. We don't need him. Largemouth are okay. They're good eating, but yellow bats are way better. And I want this guy to go get, turn into 10, 10 pounder. Pretty cool. I think this is actually my first largemouth bass out of Canyon Lake. Not very big, but I'll beat the bass, the largemouth skunk on Canyon. Sometimes what I do here is I'll uh, drop this guy down, down below. When I'm not seeing anything on the charts, I just let it sit down there. And then uh, I'll cast this guy around for a little while until I see something on the chart. And then I'll lift that one up off the bottom. And uh, they should be able to see it down there, which I'm seeing them right now. So I should be able to just boop, boop, boop. There was a bump. All right, 
back to this guy. There's fish down there. They're just not, not hitting. <laughs> There's a, I think we got a fish on, <laughs> oh, we got a fish on this one. Let it stop for a minute and then he, oh man, that's a good one. I think he tried it the other one and then saw this one came and got it. So the pattern on that, he, they didn't take it until I let it stop. So now I know that I need to give it some stops. I need to pause in the middle, let them get a chance to nail it, I guess. They don't want to hit it while it's running, they want to hit it while it stops. Make sure I hold those fins and gills down so I don't get stabbed. So we moved out quite a bit deeper, but we're trying to cast up into them right now. I'm still seeing quite a bit out here on the charts though too, so they're swimming out here deeper too. But I think over time we're gonna get worked up in there from the wakes and stuff. So we're okay to hang out here for a minute. Oh, there's something. I think it's just a little bluegill. Yeah, just a little bluegill. We don't need him. These travels can be trouble. Small fish like this, the hook barely fits in their mouth and they get all three prongs and it's a pain in the butt to get them off. Ouch. Still managed to get stuck. Sorry fish, got a little bit of his lips. There's one. Yep, another yellow. Sweet. I'm liking this, I don't have to use the net as much with this one. Gosh dang it, see, mm. got a little blood out of me, but that was his gill, his gill plate. They're just nasty fish. Maybe that's why they taste so delicious. Oh, little guy. Bluegill. He's not quite big enough to eat either. Got all a bunch of stuff in my lap. <laughs> got the paddle, got my other pole. All right, I'm ready to throw the crank back. First, I gotta get me some water. Ugh, it's hot out here and I don't have my sun cover. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. I don't think we're gonna need it anytime soon. We got fish around us that are biting. There's fish. Feels like a yellow. Cause it is one. <laughs> oh, this little crank is fun. They're not coming off. They're staying on and that's nice. And dealing with that blade bait, losing a whole bunch of them. These guys are staying pinned. That's half the battle with that one. Ouch, gosh. The stupid gills are like like a freaking razor blade. They're a knife. Guess I can use this hanky for that. It's originally, I use it to keep the cameras cool when I have to. When it gets so hot. Yep, it gets hot. That guy just died because it got too hot. Into the cooler and fix this other camera. Get that hook off of there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I've seen a massive bass surface. I'm pretty sure that's what it is surfaced three or four times over here on shad and then i looked over here to my side and there was a big old school of shad so there's a bunch of shad in our area right now and looks like there's some fish taking advantage of it based on my map here that we're kind of on a point uh, this point here kind of goes down gradually and heat that those fish are probably hanging out right on that point don't know if they're going to be interested our our shad is a little bit smaller what we're using actually is probably about half the size of the shad that I saw swimming around. So he might be wanting the big shad instead of the little shad. But we're gonna give it a try. It doesn't hurt to try and see if they'll take. I wouldn't mind catching a big old largemouth. Ooh, we got one. <laughs> I think it's a bluegill. Or no, it's a little yellow. I think I'm gonna turn him loose. He's tiny. He needs to get bigger. Yeah, things are getting really hot. My uh, fish finder was overheating this camera overheating. I'm overheating and it's only 1030 So basically what I'm doing with this little crankbait is I'm crawling it really slow Oop, And I just got bumped again really slow and every now and again I'm doing a quick little and sometimes when they're following it like that you give it those quick jerks It's it just triggers their instincts. They just have to hit it. So yeah, I'm just reeling it nice and slow and then every now and again oh, and I just got hit again I just reeling it in slow. It feels like yellow too. Oh, he just came off. Dang it. So I'm casting it up to the shore and bringing it out. Nice and slow. An occasional bump bump, you know, reel it quick. And we just got, just got bumped again. Didn't get the hook. And right there again. So twice in one cast. 
This is a fun little lure. I like this little crankbait. It's fun to work. Oh, here comes the wind and the waves. I actually don't mind the wind right now. It's really hot. I can use it. Sorry for the audio, but uh, yeah, gum. We're anchored down and we just filled the back of our boat up with water. Oh, and right there, that bump, big blue gill. We'll actually keep him. He's big enough. He big enough. Ooh, cool. Now chill. Wow, he actually listened. Yeah, he's he's a good good blue gill. It's actually got some flays on him, so oh, I'm seeing fish underneath the boat. There, oh, we had him. <laughs> this is a fun spot right here. All right, dropping this guy back down to the bottom, and then we'll start throwing that crank again. That crank's starting to be the the go-to thing right now instead of the blade, which I do not mind at all. It's fun to just slowly reel something and then get pop. Just like that, we got it again. That was a really weird angle for me to set the hook though. Oh, there he is, another big bluegill, cool. Look at the spots. He's got like black spots on his belly. <laughs> we'll take these guys, they're big enough to eat and bluegills taste good. We're getting bumped. Oh, right there, man, right by the boat. Probably bluegills just thumping along the way. The yellows tend to be a little more aggressive when they hit. Oh, there's a little bump. Oh, we got, we got one on here. I think, yep, yeah, good, it's a yellow. Good, good, and I think we might have one on our, I hope we did have one on our other pole too. <laughs> when they're around, they're around, I guess. All right, another yellow on the cranker. Oh, mm. Excuse my hanky. Yeah. Feels nice to get another yellow after a few bluegills. We just might feel this cooler yet if we can keep it up. Another bluegill. Man, these guys have spots and stuff on them. It's weird. These fish are turning turning on. Yep, that's a yellow. That's a yellow for sure. Holy hen. <clears throat> that was a good yell on that uh you got off. Uh, there he is. Yep, yeah, no bringing him out of the water until I got the net. That's... Come here. Yeah. There's still more down there. I'm gonna drop it down real quick before, because when they're around, usually they're around together and hungry and fighting for it. There he is. Told you. All right, now he got us stuck in the net, so we're gonna have to take a second and handle that before we can get back down there. Um, but I'm still seeing some more on there. Usually when the school comes around, they're all cruising looking for food at the same time. So if you can get them, you can get one, there's usually a couple more down there looking for food at the same time. Got him. What are you? you? You're a yellow. Yeah, you're a yellow. You're fighting like a yellow. Yep, just not a monster yellow gonna get this cooler filled. <laughs> These guys are boogers, but man, they're pretty. They're pretty, pretty, pretty fish. Got them. Ooh, we got lucky on that one. Fell off on the boat. Ooh, yeah. Feels like a decent one. Swimming right at me, though. Cool. Barely Barely hooked in the lips. Where did my hanky go? Missing my hanky. Get in there, you big dumb. Ow. That's fish blood, that's my blood. <laughs> there he is. But he had, oh, thanks for getting hooked this time. That's a good one. Oh yeah. See that, rather than just jigging, I started fanning out a little bit. Cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, tighten up your line, bring it up, and let it work its way back down. It's doing this number, slowly working its way back down, up, slowly working its way back down, and they're picking it up. There he is. Decent one, too. They're still biting all around us. All I have to do is fan, and by the time I get back to the other spot, it's new to them again, so we're still picking up quite a few. Woo. 
There he is. That feels like a bluegill. Nope, it's a yellow. We'll tag him. Oh, stop it. It's dangerous. Anytime I do that, that plate right there, it's like a knife. Got hit a few times today. There he is. Oh, I let him let him have slack and he got off. At that time, nope. Yeah. Onto some decent ones this time. They're all good. This cooler is starting to fill up, so. Got him. Oh, he came off. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, blue gill. You big dumb. Got him. Holy cow. Look at how he ate that thing. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I don't know if. Oh man, we hooked his gills. He had that thing all the way in his throat when I set that hook. Got him. Oh, he didn't feel very big, but then he came up and decided he was caught and decided to go back down. <laughs> He's a good one. Real good one. Big shout out to subscriber Gringindio. He asked what was in Jake's tackle box. And so we decided to add a part to the videos called Jake's Tackle Box. So this is our first Jake's Tackle Box part of the videos. I'm basically just gonna share with you what I'm catching the fish on at the locations on that specific day. So today, we were catching a bunch of them on, is this little guy here, it's a little, like, tiny crankbait. It is a bomber, so Booyah Bomber 3F. This is a tiny little crankbait. Um, and it's Fat A. So Fat A, Bomber 3F. Caught quite a few on that when we were up uh, in a little bit steeper of a drop off. And for some reason in that area, they really liked this one. And I really liked it too, because we weren't losing as many fish, not as heavy. They weren't able to throw it as well. Man, it's hot out here. I'm sure you can tell I'm sweating really good. So the next one was until the hook busted off. <laughs> We got missing hooks all over this thing. I guess they break, they don't bend on this particular bait. So I'm going to have to switch out some to some new ones. But this is um, a Cabela's bait. It's Cabela's uh, mean eye blade bait. Um, this particular one is a quarter ounce bait. And it is the chrome with the black back. I've caught a lot of yellows on this thing. A lot of fun. Um, it's a nice heavy weight, heavy heavier blade it gets down there quicker a lot of action when you're popping it off the bottom i like it a lot uh, and it just looks mean so the fish want to kill it the next thing i switched after that i don't even know the name of this one i just bought it because it looks similar to the other one and a little bit smaller and i was hoping that the fish would pick it up a little bit easier if it was a little bit smaller um again it has that red eye chrome color just a blade bait this one's a 316 ounce not a quarter so it's a 16th of an ounce lighter a little bit smaller profile too, and it worked pretty well. The hooks did bend on this one too, so I might need to, to invest in getting some more solid hooks in a small size like that so that uh, it'll actually hold onto the fish. Those were the three baits, those two blades and that one crankbait is what we caught our fish on today. That's what they were biting on. So uh, yeah, I picked all those up at uh, Bass Pro Shops, I believe. I know at least the two blades that were in the same aisle, same place. So Bass Pro Shops is where I got those ones. You can pick yourself up some. I don't have a sponsorship. That's just where I got them from. So that's it for Jake's Tackle Box. Did we fill it? What do you guys think? We got about three quarters of the way or two thirds to three quarters of the way full. Count them up and see how many we got. Not a bad day. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-four yellows and three bluegills that were decent enough to eat. Thanks a ton for watching. Truly appreciate it. Go do all the things you know you're supposed to, like, subscribe, share, like, comment, all those fun things. You can find a link in the description for our new shirts and stuff that we got there's a bunch of cool designs so you can go check those out there thanks a ton for watching we definitely got out and lived today had a good time and got me some meals so i can eat more fish thanks again you get out and live catch you next time